Grade 5 math number 11, problem solving, multiplication, and division, and strategies. I'm going to show you how to choose a strategy to solve a problem. So here's the strategies we can pick from. We can act it out. We could draw a picture or diagram. We could make a table. We could break it into simpler problems. We could work backwards, you know, do the inverse. Or we could guess, check our answer, and then revise our guess. So here's our problems. We got a camel. This is Bob's camel. And he's hungry. All right. Let me get my focus. Bob has 147 pounds of food to feed his camel. If it ate seven pounds each day, how many weeks would the food last? All right. So we ask ourselves, what do we need to find? Well, did you notice that it says he ate seven pounds each day? but we need to know how many weeks the food will last. So that right there tells me we need to find how many weeks the food will last. So what information can we use? We can use the fact that he's got 147 pounds of the food and that it eats seven pounds each day. So how are we gonna use this information? Well, we're gonna to have to figure out how many times the seven pounds can fit into that 147 or we need to divide, right? So 147 divided by 7 equals what? We need to do the total food divided by the daily food to get the days of food. If we put the 7 pounds that it eats each day into how much he's got, we'll know how many days it'll last. Our strategy that I chose was to do the inverse and then break it into simpler problems. We've got, instead of division, multiplication. 7 times n equals 147. So I know 7 times 10 is 70, so I did that, and I did it again. That made 140, and then I had a 7 for the little 7 left over. So now I've got 7 times 10 plus 7 times 10 plus 7 times 1. I pulled the add-ins out, 10 and 10 and 1, and got 21 days. Well, I know there's 7 days in a week, and we need to know how many weeks the food will last, so I divided the 21 days into the seven days of a week and got three weeks. So now Bob can feed his camel for three weeks without worrying, right? Okay, let's see what this one is. Tala decided to make aprons for her school fundraiser. She needed four feet of fabric for each apron. She had 24 yards of fabric. How many aprons was Tala able to make? So the first thing we need to think is we need the measurements to match. It takes four feet to make one apron and she has 24 yards. All right, so to make the measurements match, we can't turn feet into yards, but we could turn the yards into feet, right? 24 yards equals N feet. Well, there's three feet in each yard. So if we multiply 24 times 3, that tells us 4 times 3 is 12. We carry the 1 and put the 2 down. 3 times 2 is 6 plus the 1 is 7. The 24 yards becomes 72 feet of fabric. Tala needs 4 feet for each apron. So the strategy is going to be break it into a simpler problem. 72 can be broken into 40 plus 32. And then we can divide them by 4. So 40 is 40 divided by 4, and 32 divided by 4. 40 divided by 4 is 10. 32 divided by 4 is 8. We add the add-ins together, 10 plus 8, and we get 18 aprons she can make. See? Break it into simpler problems. All right. Let's see what Emma's up to. Emma is making cinnamon honey butter. Her recipe is two cups of butter, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and eight tablespoons of honey. She mixes them together really well, and she's got her cinnamon honey butter. If she has 12 cups of butter, 15 teaspoons of cinnamon, and 42 tablespoons of honey, how many batches of cinnamon honey butter can she make? Our strategy is going to be to make a table, because if we think about this, we need multiples of 2, 1, and 8. We need to multiply 
two times a number, one times a number, and eight times a number, and it's got to be the same number so that the batch is even, right? So we made a table. One batch is the two cups of butter, the one teaspoon of cinnamon, and the eight tablespoons of honey. So we made multiples going down, because here's the number of batches, multiples of two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, the multiples of 1 are easy, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we have the multiples of 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56. So now we get to match the ingredients to the ingredients she has. All right? So here's the ingredients she has. Can you tell how many batches, full batches, that she'll be able to make? Now she might have some ingredients left over, but the important thing is that she has enough for full batches. 12 cups of butter would put her at 6 batches. See that? Then she would need 6 teaspoons of cinnamon. Well, she's got 15, so that would work. But she would need 48 tablespoons of honey. She only has 42. Hmm. So 6 isn't going to work. Now, if we go back one to the 40 tablespoons of honey, that would work. And look, Emma could make 5 total batches. See? So see how the table helped us? So when you're problem solving, make sure you pick a good strategy to help you solve it, and it'll make it a lot easier for you. Okay? Learn your strategies. Keep up the good work. I'll see you next video. Bye.